Okay, I've decided to put together a short video showing uh, all the software I've installed on my uh, mobile phone, which is uh, an MDA Vario 2, which is a branding of the HTC Titan 2. Um, it comes with quite a lot of software pre-installed, but I found quite a lot of sites on the internet where you can get a lot of excellent freeware that uh, dramatically increases the use of your phone. Uh, so the main site I use which is called freewarepocketpc.net which has got tons of software on it, all free, all very easy to install. The second site I use, not so much but still pretty good, is called freewarepc.com uh, which has a little bit more software so this is my number one must-have app. It just saves me a ton of time. Um, it's installed right now on my phone. You can see that uh, it's right there is the application. And the application is also running. It's When it was installed on my phone, it sent the information through that it was installed onto my PC. You can see the app is just there as well. And when the phone is plugged into a USB cable, which comes with the phone, like so, that's it plugged in. Uh, it begins the auto sync pro the auto sync process, but the phone, as you can see, tells the machine that it's now connected via my mobiler. And if you double click on my mobiler, then it replicates completely everything that's on the screen of the phone. And you can actually use your mouse to integrate with the phone and your keyboard to input. So, for example, if I open a Word document, which is here, it's all happening on my phone as well at the same time open a new Word document. Normally I would have to sit and tap away at the phone itself but now, I, because I've got my keyboard, I can just start typing away and that will come up on the screen. That saves a ton of time, especially if you send a lot of text messages like I do. Okay, the next piece of software I got was Skype. Um, I got that from freewarepocketpc.net. Uh, it's okay, but um, because you get a lot of Wi-Fi hotspots in major cities, um, it can be pretty cool to use Skype for making free calls. On my current Wi-Fi connection, I use it. I find it pretty uh, jittery to use, um, but you you just put in a, a ten pound top up and that allows you to use it for 180 days and you have to make at least one small call during that time but it can be really handy for other things like if you want to make a free phone call to your bank or an insurer or something like that so what I was trying to find with 3D tracking was a free piece of software that basically would follow using the phone's GPS my activity and log it the main reason I was getting that was so that if my phone was stolen I would be able to find out remotely where the phone was located. So the cool thing about 3D tracking is that one, it's free. Two, it doesn't use your SIM card to say who you are. It uses what's called the phone's IMEI identifier and that's unchangeable. That's located in the hardware on the phone. So when I run this software you can see that it starts instantly. It's actually running in the background I've set it that way so that the somebody who stole my mobile phone, when they turned it on, they wouldn't know that I had actually had that software running. So at the moment, it's actually trying to find some satellites. If I went outside, it would find about five or six satellites, and then it would start storing the information. And the moment it had one stored point, which it does within a minute. 
So it would dial up the internet using my phone provider and it would instantly send a stored point of where that phone was and it would keep doing that every minute in the background and hopefully by the time a thief found out that that was the case or had sold the phone on there would be a complete set of locators stored on the internet uh, so that site once that's stored and it's sent via the internet you don't have to have a Wi-Fi connection you don't have to plug it into your phone it's set up at the moment so that it just uses my phone's uh, GPRS or HD, HSDPA connection. So then I go to the 3D tracking website. Uh, I put in my username, which is actually my IMEI number. I put in a password, which I've already created. I've created an account before. I log in, and what it tells me is where the fo where the system thinks my phone is right now, and that'll uh, come up on Google Maps on this screen. It'll say where it is, and I'll also show you my history. So that, assuming your phone's been stolen, a guy takes a SIM card out, puts his own SIM card in. Some point he turns the phone off, turns the phone back on, and the 3D tracking activates in the background. And then when it gets a lock, it starts sending minute by minute updates about where he's located, and he won't be able to access the, this site because it's password protected, he won't be able to disable it but you'll always be able to find out where the phone has been kept. Uh, the next must have app I found I really liked is uh, YouTube Play. It's uh, just a custom interface just for browsing and saving and extracting mp3 files from YouTube so if I put in um, PC There it is running, that's running a YouTube video which it's found and it works really smoothly and it's very very watchable when you're on the move. But then when I'm on the move I can just open one of the files I want, there it is South Park, it starts running it and I can maximize it and it's very very watchable. Okay and the last app I want to show you is my navigation software. Um, this phone comes with a GPS but it doesn't actually come with TomTom Tom or any such navigation software. Some phones do. It's actually about 70 or 80 pounds just to get but uh, Freeware Pocket PC has a really good freeware app called Amaze which I think covers most of Europe. Um, it's still trying to get a satellite lock but uh, it does use uh, an internet connection, for me that's only 30p a day and uh, it uses that to download the maps but it works really really well Amaze GPS and uh, it's good for giving you uh, voice directions okay the purpose of this video is to find a way of setting up the phone so that every time we start it, it runs a specific program and the program we want it to run is the 3D tracking software so that someone steals it, turns it on, it runs that software and lets us know where they are. Okay, so you go into File Explorer, which is part of Windows Mobile, uh, you find 3D tracking, and there you have the program for 3D tracking, which is how it starts there, so you know the location. So it's going to be Program Files, that's Program Space Files, and then 3D tracking, and then 3D tracking. .exe and I've downloaded a piece of software called Startup Manager which is here okay you can see 3D tracking is on and the way you set that up is that you, you set up a new program that you want to start I would call it 3D tracking in here and then you put that location line in there that tells the phone what the location of the program is in this case it would be for example program files so that's program space files and then backslash and then 3d tracking backslash and then 3d tracking.exe